This quad has the HD0 Freestyle VTX at one watt of power output. That's a parking garage. How many levels are we gonna get before we get the rainbows? That was HD0, which got to the very top before it was absolutely unflyable. In order to test the underlying technology to see which actually has better penetration, I'm gonna be flying DJI at one watt, even though it has the capability of 1.2. We're now gonna head out to some bushland to see how they perform in a different RF environment. Before we do, let's actually check out the setup. This is my HD Zero goggles and I've got the TrueRC patches and the TrueRC Omni. This is an upgrade kit over the standard patches that come on the HD Zero. Now, because the DJI goggles don't actually come with any patches, they come with full Omni antennas. To even it out, I'm running the TrueRC patch on the left-hand side and then I've got on the right hand side, the Omnis. So it should be as comparable as we can probably get in terms of antenna setup. The setup of the two quads is as follows. On the HD Zero side, we've got the Foxy Aura 5 inch with the Digisight V3 camera. VTX at the back, and we're running the Foxy Lollipop 4 in right hand circularized polarization. On the DJI side, we've got an iFlight Nazgul 6S, DJI camera, and the Foxy Lollipop 4 in left hand circularized polarization. Let's address the obvious question, which one is better? I'm gonna rephrase that to be which one is better to you because whether you choose DJI or HD Zero, it really comes down to all the different use cases that you have as a pilot, as opposed to perhaps one or two individual use cases. I want you to think about which system is better for you overall, considering how you fly and what your needs are. Whether it's just freestyle and ripping around a five inch or whether you're into micros and whoops, or long range or racing. You need to think about what one's gonna better serve 
all of your different needs. I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Till next time, don't forget to send it.